Welcome back friends to a new Magic Arena video and what we're going to be doing today is hopefully finishing up the competitive constructed league that we started in yesterday's video which by the way we are currently 3-0 and in boop, boop. and for those that are interested in the deck list itself then check the description below there'll be a deck list link to Aether Hub as well as a typed up list so that you can highlight it copy it and directly import it into Magic Arena and I don't want to beat a dead horse with a dead horse you get it because knights ride on horses Look, I read on Mythic Spoilers, somebody said, you know, knights ride horses, humans ride this. Well, elves, they ride wolves, apparently. You know, anyways, I, I know, I know, it's not very funny. But anyways, moving forward here, the list plays a couple of off cards you would not really think about, like Call the Cavalry. You know, look, if you can go History of Benalia on three into Call the Cavalry on four, you're just basically going to swarm your opponent. You're going to go wide and you're going to go large because on turn five, History of Benalia uh, gives all of your knights plus two plus one and you basically can just swing for lethal. I mean, that's all I'm going to say about that, right? It's pretty powerful. The sideboard is a little spicy. I'm not going to go too much into it, but what we'll do is basically just get into some games. I mean, come on, let's go. And before we do anything else, you know, hit this button, hit this play button. Look, I'd like to thank you for spending some of your quality time to come hang out with this guy today. And uh, yeah, let's try to get this going on. Yeah, I know, I know, I know you want to leave me. Boom, boom, boom. Voice of an angel. That's what I'm talking about, right? They could have a Hezzeret in their hand, right? And so if they go Hezzeret, swing, they've got two blockers. That's only six damage I'm getting through. Puts them to six. Okay, so I'm actually going to discard... Well, damn it. I don't want to discard Chef at Dunes. But I think I've got to get rid of the Danitha. I do. Because I have to go Chef at Dunes, Chef at Dunes. Or Glorybringer works too, right? Sure. Yep. So they're going to go to six this turn. Oh, that's just... Oh, it's almost lethal. Why are they giving me almost lethal? This is when I wish I had an anthem effect on the table. Two, six, seven. So if this is a glory bringer, I just lose. If I go cast out here, I'm not getting anywhere, though. I think I just have to kind of go for it, right? Because if I have two attackers and they block with a Pia, then play a Pia, I just, I'm in such a losing position. I'm going to go for it because I don't feel like there's a safe way out of this, right? Because my opponent can just take one of my knights and just slowly kill me off that way. So I'm going to, I'm going to go Chef at Dunes here. Submit. I'm not going to go for the Angrith. I've already committed to this. Obviously blocks one. Sure, damage. If this is a Glorybringer, I'm just I'm just dead, right? Glorybringer ends the game. It has to be a Glorybringer, I think. Magma Spray? Okay. My opponent probably can't make an attack. Takes one? That's fine. Sure. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Yeah, we're gonna go block. No blocks. Damage. Sure. What could we draw that would get us out of this? That's pretty nice draw. Radiant Destiny, but he can just take the knight again, right? Okay. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Let my opponent make me discard a card, right? Oh, that sucks. Okay, so we're going to go like this, right? We're going to go Flash, cast out, take the Glory Bringer. Actually, we're going to take Angrith. 
Can we get lethal? I would... Let me think here. Right? So we've got six, seven mana open. Drawing a Radiant Destiny doesn't do it. Yeah, we've we've got to take the glory bringer here. We have to. Like we have to take the glory bringer. Yeah. No fire, no steel. Knight of Grace. If we go Knight of Grace, ping the Angrith. That's only a two, so you can't really take control of anything. All right, we're going to go Knight of Grace. Hopefully, you don't lose, like, a Chain Whirler off the top. Ah, you'll be nothing but slag when I'm, done with you. I'm hoping they don't. I don't get a Chain Whirler off the top, because if I discard a card and they go Chain Whirler, I'm just dead. But I have lethal on board. So this is kind of an interesting game here. I don't I don't know if I'm gonna win though, honestly. No fire, no we'll get put to one. I mean, is it a chain whirler or no? Let's think here. This is a sorcery ability. I think these are lands in my opponent's hand. I would have fired that stuff off a long time ago. Let's go for lethal. Let's go for it. Go! Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's go! That's what I'm talking about, baby! Let's go! One drop, two drop, three drop, four drop. <laughs> drop that. All right. Let's get this 5-0 and o record, shall we? Hit this play button. Let's go. Holy smokes, we've been playing for 20 minutes. This is mighty impressive. And we, didn't, we, we drew one of our sideboard cards. Automatic forfeit from our opponent for the most part. Those shield mirrors, they're, unga they're ungodly to deal with. They really are. If you're a red deck, you know, like red deck wins. You know what I mean? Like the 19 land version. That card's stupid hard to deal with. It really is. Because you either, you lightning bolt it, but I go up three points of life. So you kind of like two for one yourself. I don't know. I'm I'm legitimately hope I'm like legit hoping that my opponent has just crappy draws or whatever. Like that's kind of going through my brain. Not that I'm trying to play bad or whatever the case is. I'm just hoping that my opponent doesn't have like a, a god draw in game one. This is a good draw. Turn two into a turn three. Let's we'll see what we got. Another red deck wins. Ugh. Okay. Red deck wins again. I'm telling you, like, it's it sucks because I wish there was more diversity, right? Pyromancer, maybe? Nah? Okay. I'm going to go... Uh, I've got to go Knight of Grace in case my opponent has, like, uh, I'll watch him call it in their deck. Oh! Okay. This is the kind of deck I'm going up against. I got you, then. Let's go... I want to play Drill Master here and save my Knight of Grace. So my opponent probably has a removal spell in their hand. So they'll most likely kill the Cavalry Drill Master. So that's what I'm going to do. There you go. You can have a beefy uh, Bomat Courier. <laughs> I'm 100% sure I've got that my opponent's got a Shock or a Lightning Strike. 100% sure. And if they don't, that's good for me. Lava Mancer? Sure. Card? Wow. I'll make you I'll make you sacrifice your bow, Matt. Let me get on the board. That's fine. Does my opponent want to fire off a burn spell now? That doesn't seem very profitable. Nope. Two lands. That's not so bad. 
Okie dokie. Do we go History of Benalia here? No, because these guys are first strikers, right? So let's go Knight of Grace into Dauntless Bodyguard. Yep. Let's go no attacks, just end turn. My opponent's literally on like a hyper aggressive red deck wins with these rigging runners. Yes, yeah, target the Dauntless Bodyguard with a burn spell so I can sack it to the Knight of Grace. A little interesting. What are we going to do, buddy? What is my opponent going to do? Combat? Sure, I'll trade. I don't mind. I'll trade a grace for the rigging runner. Two, four, five. Wait, if I go to nine... In exchange for the ability to bump up my entire team, that's fine. I'll trade a drill master for the gear too. I'm not going to trade this pair here though. I'll let my opponent decide if they want to burn something or not. The cavalry drill master isn't nearly as important, but once they put this Benelis marshal down, it immediately outclasses these rigging runners. Yeah, we'll go to ten. That's fine with me. My opponent for sure guarantee has like has burn in their hand. Boop. Sure. Please burn my Knight of Grace. Oh, Flame of Keld, sure. Uh okay, let's go. Benelish Marshall. We'll go no attacks. So it is possible my opponent doesn't draw like, you don't know, like lightning strike, lightning strike, lightning strike. It is a possibility. I'm hoping it's more of a possibility. And it's looking more like it is. Come on. What you got, buddy? Outstanding. History of Banalia. Come on. Give it to me, baby. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Give me the token. I know you want to. Uh, we're still going to go no attacks because next turn, this deals two damage for every red source, right? So, it applies to both players as well. People don't understand that, but if I was playing your red deck as well, it would apply with both. Sure, five. Another Wizard's Lightning? Does he just have it like that? Nope. Well, no, they do. That's crazy sauce. Okay, well, we'll concede. My opponent had a pretty decent hand. We didn't have any one drops. But what are you going to do, right? All right, now that we get into the sideboard, Shield Mirrors, Consoles... Settle the Wreckage. All of those are very valuable cards. Let's take out the Valiant Knights because those aren't very good. We can take out the Ajani's as well because those aren't very good either. Radiant Destinies. Uh, Radiant Destinies are pretty decent here. But if we took them out... I'm trying to think here. What do I want to keep in? And Karns are really good in this matchup, believe it or not. It's a it makes a body when it comes out and it protects itself. So, and it's a good life. It's a good way of keeping your life. So we'll take out the Radiance, Authority, Dauntless, Cavalry, Knight, Benelish, Shieldmare, Call the R. Call the Cavalry is really good in this matchup. And a few settles. Yeah, I'm good at this. That was nutso, though. One drop, blow your face up, basically. We were, like, one turn away from actually being able to stabilize. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. Yeah, we definitely got to keep this in. Gaining two life per turn when something comes out is valuable. And we've got our shield mirror in our hand, too. Shield mirror is insane!
Oh, yes. That's really good for us. Thank you, buddy. Now we're going to gain two life per creature that comes in. That's really good. Yeah, we'll take one. Yeah, we're going to gain two life. That's pretty good. We'll gain two more life. We'll play a shield mirror. And the reason we're playing shield mirror is because they're going to burn it. Like they've got to they've got to throw a lightning bolt or a wizard's lightning at this creature. They have to. Otherwise, it's going to block all day every day. And then we'll play the Benelis Marshal into Danith, uh, Danitha. Because Danitha on her own dies to a shock. And so my opponent, uh, you know, is probably playing four shocks, four lightning strikes, and four wizard's lightning, right? So I would not put it past that. Well, Matt, we'll gain two more life. That's fine. Um... Uh, you know, actually, let's let's go ahead and block this. If my opponent wants to use a burn spell on it, I'm quite alright with that. Targeted, I'm gonna go up three life. Like, did they not under did not read the card? I'm getting the full value out of this card, so I'm pretty happy. Alright, Benelis Marshall. This is guaranteed gonna get burned out of my opponent's hand. If they've got it, they're going to use it. Wizards lightning! How did I know? How did I know? It's so good. How, to know these things is like super invaluable. Sure, we'll take four. We're 28. Maybe my opponent's plan is just to keep me on the back foot the entire time. I really don't know. Uh, actually, let's go Knight of Grace. And then we'll go Benelis Marshall. We'll, we'll make my opponent use all their burn on like our quasi non-anthem effects, right? Because Knight of Grace trades with the Rigging Runner. It, tra uh, it kills the Bull Mat and it kills the Gi too. Don't tell me Chandra. Wow! Okay. Minus? So my guess is. It would make sense to minus. Wow, I guess not. All right. They probably, oh, I was going to say, they probably want to trade with the Rigging Runner, but probably not at that point. Um, okay. Let's go Benelis Marshal. We'll swing three at Chandra. Yep. We have a Subtle and we have a Danitha, so we'll see what my opponent decides to do here. They might just uh, put Chandra down to get rid of the Benelish. And then leave Rigging Runner up to trade so they can have their uh, Chandra on the board. We'll see, though. Wow, Flame of Keld. Okay. Why would they Why would they get rid of their Shock? That makes absolutely no sense. They could have Shocked to the face. Like, you see what I'm saying? They could have Shocked me to my face and it would have been a much better exchange. On that. All right. All right, you got to block one or both. Okay. That's fine with me. They're going to sack the Bowmat to get the card, but that's fine too. Uh, this time I'm going to play Denilith. If they try to go double block and kill the Benelish, I'm just going to take both their creatures. And then Chandra can minus and kill herself. Wow, okay. Sure. Yeah, we'll play Danitha here. Now, my opponent can kill their own Chandra, or they can basically burn my Danitha with one of the cards that they drew. I'm happy either way. Like, Danitha's really good on this board. Wizard's Lightning for three? That's expensive. 
Sure. Plus four? Another Chandra? Uh, no, another Wizard's Lightning? Okay. So they're getting rid of literally all of the burn in their hand to deal with, I guess, my board, which is fine with me. Let's go Knight of Grace. Combat. There you go, buddy. Sure, we'll trade. I'm not going to play this land because I don't have any five drops in my deck. I really don't, so. And we're at 24. We have Sud of the Wreckage as well open, so we've got later turns covered. Ooh, what'd they get? Oh, a Gitu? Sure. They must be hurting for creatures if they're doing this. Yeah, we'll go up two more life. Burning my creature in response is... What an idiot! Okay. I mean, maybe they're just gonna, like, try to ultimate Chantra and call it a day. That's always a possibility. Like I said, we don't have any way of punishing it. We really don't. And they're just going to keep putting bodies out in front, I think. But after this Chantra is dead, it's like dead, dead. It's, there's no more. Yeah, no blocks. Yeah, we're going to go no blocks here. Let's me attack their Chandra. That's fine. Sure. My opponents misplayed severely this game. Okay. Oh, that's so good. Call the cavalry is so good here. It's going to give me additional bodies to attack with. Yeah, I don't care that they're two twos, but we're going to send both these at Chandra. My opponent can take out one of these knights, and that's fine, by basically blocking both and sacking the monkey to do one damage to the other. But my opponent's training his entire board, so I'm actually pretty okay with that. I really am. I don't got to worry about hasters, because they're all going to come into play tapped. And my opponent is going to probably lose their Chandra this turn. Yep. We'll see, though. You're going down. Yep. Kills a knight. They're all vigilant, so it doesn't really matter. The face? That's fine. Maybe they're saying, well, I would have killed my opponent a long time ago if I had shot all this burn at my opponent, but whatever. Do they have, like, another burn spell? Wow. All right, we'll, we'll play another Call of Cavalry. This has been the only card that, that, that would have saved my opponent. Literally, this would have been the only card. But instead of protecting it, they decided to, like, totally neglect it, not bother with it. Oh, yeah. This is, this is pretty much game over. There's no way my opponent's drawing that much burn off the top. And that's a good game. Oh, my eyeball. Okie dokie. Now that I know my opponent's playing Chandra, I'm going to put in uh, cast outs. <laughs> uh, we'll take out the Karns for cast outs, I suppose. Uh, we'll run it back. I mean, there's nothing else we can really do. We'll have to run it back. My opponent is at a much higher percent to win if they're on the play, especially if I don't have like a one, two and a three drop or whatever, right? So I might aggressively try to mulligan to get those kinds of cards, but we'll see what we get here. I wish you could like pick your hand and decide if you want to keep it or not before, I mean like after your opponent makes their play, like that would be really sweet, but that'd also be really busted too. 
Yeah, the authority of the consoles was an absolute all-star that game. The rigging runners are really good. They're two, they're two, two first strikers. But if those were like Viashino Pyromancers, I think they would have been worse in that matchup. Even though they do two damage when they come out, they're not first striking. So that's also a reason why I was just winning. You know? First strike matters a great deal in these matchups. Ooh, excuse me. I mean, I could do like the Boros thing and add like the heroic reinforcements, but not going to bother with that. I'd rather do my own thing instead of copying what everybody else is doing. Wow. Okie dokie. This is a bad hand. I have two of the, two of the, the only two field of runes in my entire deck. I do got a one drop, but it's going to cost me life to play. So I'm going to mulligan that. Uh, this is a much better hand. Please do not mana screw me. We basically have to go cast out. Like, we have to play cast out. Okay, whatever. Probably uses a shock to get rid of this. Most, most people do. Yeah, we'll get a trade. Pass? 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 Hmm? No land? Pass? Mm hmm? Let's go! We got a chance, Scoops. We got a chance. Cycle? Give me a land. No! We're gonna get land screwed! My opponent's gonna have a two drop, a three drop, four drop. Ugh, this feels infinitely worse. Give me a land! Give me two lands running and I can win. It's, if I get three lands running, I'll be a... Oh my god, okay. We're going to lose because we got screwed. But I mean, it's our fault for keeping the hand, right? Come on, buddy. Have some mercy. Have some mercy. Have some mercy. We need two lands running. Okay, there's one. Don't have another Viashino. Right? Wow! What are the possibilities? I need a land this turn. Let's go! Shield mare into shield mare. If they burn it, I'm gonna go up three life, so that's fine. It takes burn and exchange. I'm happy with that. Pyromancer? Sure, okay. All four, that's why they kept the hand. They have four pyromancers. Wow! Yep. Please shock it so I can go up three more life. Yep. Go up three more life. No attacks. I mean, it's possible they've got two uh, wizard's lightnings in their hand. That's a possibility. Like, it's a possibility. Oh, let's go, Shield Mare! You're an all star! <laughs> Shield Mare is an all star right now. No attacks. We got a. My opponent had an ungodly aggressive start. And all we needed to do is just draw a land. Lightning Strike one of them? That's fine. I mean, I'm going to go up to three life, so it just buys me more time. I'll go Danilith. Danith, I mean. No, we'll go Benelish Marshall. Yeah, because it'll take it out of uh, burn range. Now my opponent has to do it. Let's go. We've got nine points of damage on the table. We're going to try to make an alpha strike, basically. Four? Chandra, okay. You want to go, tough guy? Sure. Let me go Benelish Marshall, Benelish Marshall. Yeah, let's go. One, two, three, four. We can swing for 16 right now. We're going to send one shield mirror because my opponent cannot block it. 
right? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five attackers. We've got four blockers. I want to take this Chandra off the field, right? And I feel like we have enough life. My opponent can't block this. Can't even block it, buddy. I mean, if he targets it, I'm just going to laugh. Please do so. Please target it. Let me go up those three lives, buddy. I need them. I mean, my opponent could have burn, 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 burn. But we don't know just yet. Ooh. Going to eight? That's these two plus two burn? I, I can't do that. I, I obviously, I really cannot do that. Like, I legit cannot do that. Five? Glory bringer? Bane fire for four? Okay. Okay, I can respect that. If my opponent swings all out, I have to block. But they don't. Okay. We'll play Danitha. She'll come in as a 4 4. Bodyguard the Danitha. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Combat. Attack. Shield Mare. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I ho I'm hoping my opponent doesn't have a second Bane Fire. Like, what is my opponent even doing playing Bane Fire? Just don't have it. That's all I'm asking for. No lightning strikes, no wizard's lightnings. Because the fanatics plus those is game over. We got to do it. Two lightning strikes just to troll me. That's lethal. My opponent has to block. If they're smart, the Fanatic Firebrand blocks the Danitha. My opponent's taking 15 from just the Shield Mares. Oh, come on. Let's go. Let me get there. Let me get there. Let me just go up to 10. Don't do it. Don't tell me I'm getting slow played. Don't tell me I'm getting slow played. This is so bad. What a troll move. Let's go. We're going to get there. We are going to get there. We're at eight. If my, my opponent has to specifically have three lightning strikes. Specifically three. And something tells me they would have used one of them if they had it. A fight with fire? Sure. That doesn't win. The other Benelish Marshal? Sure. Yeah, let's go, baby! Let's go! Attack! So I can block it and go up three more life. <laughs> Denise, the baby girl! Mwah, mwah. Let me unlock this really quick. Hold on. Let me just go like this. Mwah. Oh no. Um, uh, oh, she's such a. She's awesome, all right? That's all I'm going to say. We literally just 5 0'd. That is amazing. Amazing. That's all I'm going to say about that. Let's go. I'm pretty happy about those. I really am. And we got a booster pack. Sweet. 5 0 white deck wins. Let's go, baby. Claim the prizes. 2100 more gold. Let's go right. Ugh. That sounded like puke a little bit, and it probably was. Give me something good. Kefnit? This is my only Kefnit. I wish I should maybe make a duck around that. But anyways, look. There you have it. 5-0 competitive constructed league. I went up against two. Actually, 
three red deck wins, basically, right? Everyone, if you want the deck, in the description. Pretty easy to make. The majority of this deck stays in the rotation, by the way, okay? But y'all know what I'm talking about, though, right? Love peace and chicken grease. Be safe. Thanks for stopping by. Let's spend some of yo quality time. And, uh, yeah. Stay classy.